Good morning, everybody. I was doing some returns. I am returning the Goodwill Blue Box four piece jacket box that was garbage besides one piece. And I am returning the Cowboy Boots box. And I just realized I didn't show you it. It's four pairs of Cowboy Boots. Anyway, I was just going to put the return label on this and make an appointment with FedEx to come get it. And I said, let me show my friends. I forgot to show you. So they come like that. So this was the first pair. They're not horrible. They're not horrible. It's because I have this on it. They're starting to work. This is from a band, brand called Hecho and Leon in Mexico, expert product made in the USA. Oh, here we are. Our Rodeo Grand. Okay, so there's a few reasons about these boots that were an issue. It wasn't the brand. I think they're real leather. They smell like real leather. They're cute. But they're really old and they're cracking and falling apart. So the front's falling off them and they can't be fixed. They're really dry. And then I'll show you the next issue. And they're cracking all over, not just the front. I don't know if you could see that. It's hard to see because... see and then also the stitching is coming out but it's hard to see but these are coming up all over the place and I had my son try and put these on the problem with them being is they can't straighten out so you can't get in your foot in these so they're like unusable so although these are cute and it's fun to have a little pointed toe like I'm gonna do it all my might you can't get your foot in them because they are upwards and forget the fact that there's they're so dried out that they're falling apart so these are kind of unsaleable and unusable i couldn't sell these my son couldn't even get these on his foot he i don't think he'd wear them but like literally couldn't get them on his foot okay so that was pair number one pair number two These smell so bad. As these are just like disgusting, falling apart. What do you call this? The, the trim is coming off. These are completely worn, but not in a good way worn. You know, like I always tell you, like wearing is good. You know, has some Fred Flintstone, but these are worn. I tried to wipe it off. That's why one looks a little better than the other, but it's still not great. They smell so bad. I don't know. They just smell really bad. It's not leather smell. These are a 10 and a half D. They're man-made material, so it's not leather. Made in the USA. And they have no name on them. I don't know what brand they are. They have no name in them. And again, like I don't know if I could sell these and, and they smell and I know someone will send them back to me saying they smell. So these are just like, they're no good. They're just no good. So two out of two, I would never sell. One is completely unusable. The other one, maybe, but I don't think anyone wants them. They're gonna say they smell and send it back to me. Okay, so here's the third pair. And these are from a brand called, oh, these are Ariat, which is just like mid-range. Nothing great. They're just like, it needs a new heel. One heel, someone dragged more than the other. I'm not sure why. It's very used. These are very used. I, I don't mind some things that are have use and are, are worn in. In fact, I think we should pay extra for that because someone else put the hard work into it. Um, they're missing the insoles inside. They have no insoles at all. 
So on top of having a very used, but not in a good way used, pair of frumpy old boots. These ones don't smell at least. Like, these are very used. They're both, both. They're missing an insole. What am I supposed to do with that? It's disgusting. Again, I would never, ever, 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 ever sell these and worn in. I would never, ever, 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 ever wear these. I just wouldn't. Would you guys? I mean, maybe I'm being too picky, but I don't think so. And then the last pair was these little kid ones. And, you know, they're not in bad condition. Oh, yeah, I remember. It's all this stitching. On both of them, the stitching's coming out. So it's coming out all the way up here, the stitching. Oh yeah. What's up with this insole too? These are our kids, M Mexican kids, 10 and a half. Solo exploration for export only made in Mexico. And these are Tierra Blanca. I don't know what happened inside either. And on both of them, all the stitching. Can you see that on there? It's all over, the stitching's coming out. Could I clip them? I could clip them. The other one's missing it, and this one has this. So, I would never sell or, or these aren't as bad, but you still need insoles. I don't want to deal with go, go getting insoles. Whatever, the whole box was not good. It's not how they described it. And the, the box was $29.99, the shipping was $5, so it was $34.99. So they're like $9, like $9 a pair. I wouldn't pay anything for any of these at all. Not one pair of these I would have bought. Am I being over, am I being over picky? Can you tell me? Maybe I am, but I wouldn't sell any of these. So they were kind enough. I'm sorry with the dogs. They're kind enough to take them back and give me my money back. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let me go because they're barking and I can't get up. I'm gonna package this, call FedEx and I'll get back to you with the rest of my day. You, tea kettle. And I was using it to make, I made some, what do they call it? I thought it was like watermelon tea, winter melon, winter melon tea. I bought a packet from Rare Tea a while ago. So I wanted to make some, leave it in the fridge so you can either heat it up or you can have it cold. So I made some of that tea and I put some of the um, sugar they have in it. It's like this brown caramelized sugar. I made some tea for me, but I use Fairlife milk, but they do have like a powdered sugar. I guess that's what they use in their restaurants. But I boiled some boba. And let me tell you, it makes such a mess. It leaves like a jelly film everywhere. So it's easier to buy the frozen one or the kind that's already pre-made. And they usually put it in like a little bit of a liquid juice so it doesn't stick. I actually put a little bit of their uh, brown sugar mixture in there and I'm gonna put a little water in there in a minute. I just want it to cool off first. So that will be the water it's in, otherwise they stick together. And then I got that at Fat Fit and Fun. I brewed some of the tea, came with black tea. And I actually saved this because it's actually, I could do a whole nother pot full with this tea and it'll be just as good as the first one. And so I just put it in a mug. And so I'm gonna take that hot water and I'm gonna do another one. And then I'm gonna have tea. So this is their like creme brulee sugar. And then like I said, they have like a powdered milk. Wait, hold on. They have all these different, different flavors. Drinks. So this is a protein mix I use. So here's like leche jelly. 
This is cane sugar, so it's like sugar, but it's already pre-melted, so it doesn't. You don't get like crumbly sugar in there. There is caramelized brown sugar. Passion fruit jam. You can make cold iced teas. They have all these recipes online. There's mango puree, and then there's some more sugar. I don't think there's anything else back there. So cane sugar, mango puree, passion fruit jam, high protein powder. This is one of the best protein powders, by the way. It's all natural, no crap in there. It tastes good. So here's the creme brulee. And when I opened it, there's a creme brulee sugar. This is that powdered milk, more creme brulee sugar. I think this is, oh, that's fake sugar sugar. Like swerve. So if you're on keto, and this, that's like the boba, freeze dried, and it looks like dog food pellets. And if you eat it raw, it tastes like dog food pellets. So that's. Needless it. to say, I forgot to press record before. That's why I'm showing you all this now. I did all of that, and it's so time consuming. That's why I wanted to do it at one time. And let me tell you, that hot water kettle tea kettle is amazing. This has been sitting in here for 15 minutes. Still steaming. The company I'm doing is Rare Tea, but you can use any teas, black tea. I have a lot of different teas that I'm gonna make different drinks with, with the stuff it comes with. That's interesting. So they do, I put some cold water in there because the hot water would have melted them a little. Maybe not, but I didn't want them to get all gooey. So you have to cover the boba, otherwise they'll get sticky. And then I put the little sugar in there to make it taste sugary and not just bland. I put some ice cubes in here. I bought these mason jars off of Amazon. You got a package of two and they have wide enough for a boba straw. So let me get a boba straw. It came with these metal ones and something to clean it with in this nice packet, but they're big enough to fit boba through. Hey everybody, there you are, another designer box. I'm opening them all in one day to get the videos ready for you, but guess what? You only get to see one at a time. How are you today? I hope you're well. My name is Carrie. Welcome back to my channel, Carrie T Says. Happy Vlogmas. I hope everyone is, is okay. You know, it's really hard to staying in and masking and staying away and not being able to hug and kiss, especially this time of year, and, and I know it's hard. If you're having a hard time, reach out, say hello. I got the most amazing, amazing, amazing viewers. And let's keep in touch. Let's keep each other company. Let's keep each other smiling. And I hope today's video will help you keep smiling. So let me take you on a ride. I got a thread up designer box. It's seven pieces for $90. Let's see what kind of items we get. And by the way, the items can have damage. You don't know what you're getting. I got a good one yesterday. Go see that video, my past video. Let's see, fingers, toes crossed, this is as good. I hope there's a little present in there for me. I've been good this year. No coal for me. Sorry, that's my chair, squeaking. Not me, all right. This one didn't come busted up and it came with the receipt, which I need for my taxes. Okay, here she is. Beautifully wrapped. Hold your ears, hold your ears. Oh, and we got some bubbles. I hope that means we got some amazing stuff. Wow. You know, if you put a name like Gucci on this or something, this would be like $3,500. So, I called it Gucci. If you use it, you owe me. Yeah. Carrie. Little corny. I see something purple and shiny right on top. I'm peeking. Is it every Leger purple and shiny? No, it's Tadashi. And she's purple and shiny. And Tadashi Solji, Neiman Marcus. Wow, this looks like it might be my size. What size are we? Size 14, UK 14. So that's like a US 12. Yeah, size 12. I was like, this looks like my size. 
and it's purple and it's shiny and it's ruffly and my Amina Mawadi, my new shoes will go with this perfectly. And it's a pencil skirt, it has layers and I don't see a thing wrong with her. What is wrong with you? Why are you in this box? Okay, I do. I do. She has two of these. One cut mark here, and I saw one there. Oh, well, I guess I have to keep it and I can't sell it. Tadashi Shoji. But right, he's just calling it Tadashi. I guess Tadashi maybe is probably a cheaper line in collab with Neiman Marcus. Tadashi Soldier, Solji. I think it's a little bit higher end. We got a Tadashi purple silk skirt. Oh, oh no. I love shoes with little fur balls on it. These are from Taryn Rose. Not terribly expensive, but they're beautiful. And they're my size, they're 37 and a half. They got the thicker heel, they're grade suede. And this is like a two inch heel. It's a perfect heel. You can wear this with the skirt. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with leggings. You can wear it with the most beautiful high-end dress, a skirt suit. These are made in Italy. These have very little wear. I mean, like maybe worn once. And I love the tarot. The rose comes with the rose that it has that on it. Oh, these are adorable and it matches my outfit today. These are beautiful. So I got getting some interesting designers that I don't normally get. Taryn Rose, Tadashi. Let's get some more shoes. Ooh, we got some Ferragamos, but these are different. We got some slides, some flip-flops Ferragamos that have definitely seen better days, but these can be shined up, that can be trimmed. Um, we can put some leather conditioner on that. The bottoms aren't terrible. There's not like terrible flip fins going, going. A little bit, not terrible. I mean, there's some use less left in these. What size are we? These are a size eight and a half. So if you're size eight and a half, these are awesome because it has the Ferragamo. little horse bit thing. It's like a horseshoe. It's almost like Gucci. Ferragano flip-flops, slides. I'm, I love getting this different stuff I've been getting. Tadashi, Taran Rose, Ferragamo flip-flops. Let's go for another pair of shoes because this is like the shoe box. And we got some silver Moccasins, this leather in here is so freaking soft. And they're from Prada. And someone had like this humongous, they must have had a like really, really high arch. And it kind of made that come off. Now I know you could bring these to Prada and it'll probably be in the neighborhood of $30 to fix it, but it's gonna take a long time to fix. So maybe I'll just sell it and someone can get it fixed. I don't know how you get this off. I got it off. It left a big sticky mess. I'm going to use Dawn to take it off the rest of the way. Condition, they're an eight and a half. And someone ruined the inside. So really they just need a new inside. Just trying to see if this can come off. Like if I spent my time and totally didn't pull too hard, it's coming off a little, but I would have to spend time. These are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's a shame because it's sticky now. So you'll have to get a new insert sole put in there from Prada. And they do it. Approximately $30. Prada shoes, Taran Rose shoes, Ferragamo shoes, uh, Tadashi skirt. Next, we have some boots. These are beautiful. They got lots of rocks that came with them. These have a little bit of use. And these are Stuart Weitzman's. They're a seven and a half. 
These are beautiful. These are beautiful. I think they need a, a little shining. Someone definitely loved these. Like I said, they have a little of that going on. Got a little of that going on. That's just paper and, and rocks. And they need to be shined up. But all of the spikes, everything is here. None are missing. That has a little wear there. She has a little wear. Let me shine them up with a little leather polish. And I like that they're worn in a little. You know why? Because you'll use them. You won't be scared to use them. I'm charging extra for worn shoes. No, I'm not. But anyway, these are really nice. And if worse comes to worse, maybe I'll try them on. Boots, I usually go half size up to eight. But something is really heavy here. And it's brand new. And it came in this. And it looks like brand new with tags. It's a size small. And it's a top. Oh my God. This is a brand new Escada top. It's a gold beaded top. Oh, I see a boo-boo. There's lots of boo-boos. It's brand new, but she has boo-boos. But I think the good news is the boo-boos are in the back. So if you wear a sweater or a blazer, no, there's one in the front. If someone is handy, yeah, it needs to be tied off in numerous spots, but it doesn't mean it's not wearable. I was all excited, brand new with tags, Escada. It does come with the extra beads, so you can take it to a seamstress to get fixed. If I were to keep this, I would do it and spend the money, but for me to spend the money to do it and then sell it, I would make no money. So they just need to be tied off and tightened. And since it's brand new, it does come with a whole bunch of extra ones so it can be fixed. This is stretchy. It's perfect for New Year's. This is a small, medium for sure can wear it. My God, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we got an Escada top. She needs a little help, but you know what? These bags are supposed to be this way, so I'm not mad at that. Let me just roll her up. Okay, this is the shoe box. Escada top, Prada shoes. It can be fixed, go directly to Prada. I know, I just did it. Ferragano flip-flops need a little help. Beautiful town rose shoes are like brand new. Those will never go out of style. And a beautiful Tadashi skirt has a few little flaws. Not horrible. Last item. Some Stuart Whiteman amazing, beautiful moto boots. What did you guys think of this box? I'm like so excited to get different brands. I wish they were in better condition, but this is what they say they are. They're not doing anything wrong. I'm excited to work with it, excited to see what I'll get. If you're interested in anything, you guys, run over, give me a shout out at my Instagram page, private message me, or go to my Facebook page, Carrie T Says, or go to my Poshmark. You'll see if it's listed yet. If not, send me a message, okay? Okay, until later, I hope you do great. Remember to be you. Ciao, everybody. See you soon. Bye.